Hi friends, this is Pravindra Reddy. Today we are discussing about matter waves. Matter waves. According to De Broglie's hypothesis, when a moving particle is associated with a wave, then the wave is known as matter wave or De Broglie wave. Then the wave is known as matter wave or De Broglie wave. The wavelength of matter wave is given by the wavelength of matter wave is given by lambda is equal to h by m v lambda is equal to h by m v de broglie's hypothesis next one is de broglie's hypothesis in the year 1924 de broglie extended de broglie extended the idea of real nature of radiation to matter assuming matter passes wave as well as particle nature matter passes wave as well as particle nature considering a planck's theory of radiation considering a planck's theory of radiation the energy of photon or quantum is given by the energy of photon or quantum is given by e is equal to h nu nu is equal to c by lambda we can substitute e is equal to h c by lambda where c is velocity of light and lambda is its wavelength c is velocity of light lambda is its wavelength according to einstein's mass inertia relation we know that einstein's mass inertia relation e is equal to mc square from equation 1 and 2 we get mc square is equal to hc by lambda mc square is equal to hc by lambda lambda is equal to hc by mc square therefore lambda is equal to hc by mc that is equal to h by p where p is momentum of the photon where p is momentum of the photon if we consider if we consider the material particle of mass small m with a velocity v then the momentum is mv then the wavelength associated with this particle then the wavelength associated with this particle is given by lambda is equal to h by mv that is equal to h by p where p is momentum of the particle this momentum is the product of mass and velocity next one is the de broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy the de broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy we know that the kinetic energy of a moving particle e is equal to half mv square e is equal to half mv square at 2e is equal to mv square both side multiply with m both side multiply with m 2m e is equal to m square v square where m square v square is equal to 2m e we know that momentum is a product of mass and velocity p square is equal to m square v square we can substitute p square is equal to 2m e p is equal to square root of 2m e p is equal to square root of 2m e equation 4 we substituted in equation 3 our p value we substituted in equation 3 then we can get the de broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 mv lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 mv equation 4 is substituted equation 3 then we get wavelength lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 mv the above equation is de broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy next equation is de broglie wavelength of electrons next topic is de broglie's wavelength of electrons let us consider an electron of mass small m let us consider an electron of mass small m and charge e and charge small e is accelerated through a potential difference of v volt let us consider an electron of mass is small m its charge is small e is accelerated through a potential difference of v volts what is the difference of v volts then the energy acquired by the electron is ev then the energy acquired by the electron is ev and is related to half mv square is equal to ev half mv square is equal to ev don't confuse here capital v is potential here v is potential look at whether half mv square is equal to ev half mv square is equal to ev mv square is equal to 2ev mv square is equal to 2ev 
both side multiply with m both side multiply with m mv is equal to square root of 2 mv square root mv is equal to square root of 2 mv we know that p is equal to product of momentum and velocity p is equal to square root of 2 mv p is equal to square root of 2 mv momentum p is equal to square root of 2 mv this equation 6 This equation six is substituted in equation three. The equation six is substituted in equation three. Then we can get the equation six is substituted in this equation three. Then we can get lambda is equal to h by square root of two m e v. Lambda is equal h by h by square root of two m e v. Where m is mass of electron. Where m is mass of electron. That value is. 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. Charge of electron E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Charge of electron E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. We know the Planck's constant. Planck's constant H is equal to 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. All the values, Planck constant value, mass of the electron value, charge value, we can substitute. Then we can get dv by dv by the lambda is equal to 12.26 by root v. <coughs> Then the dv by dv by the lambda is equal to 12.26 by root v. If we can substitute, v is equal to 100 volts. V is equal to 100 volts. Then we can get lambda is equal to 1.226 angstrom units. Lambda is equal to if you substitute v is equal to 100 volts. V is equal to 100 volts. Then lambda is equal to equal to the lambda is equal 1.226 angstrom units. Next one is properties of matter waves. Properties of matter waves. We know that the deep Broglie wave length lambda is equal to h by m v. Deep Broglie wave length lambda is equal to h by m v. Lighter the particle. Lighter the Particle greater the wavelength associated with it. Lighter the particle greater the wavelength associated with it. Lesser the velocity. Lesser the velocity. Longer the wavelength associated with it. Lesser the velocity. Longer the wavelength associated with it. When v is equal to zero, when the velocity is equal to zero, wavelength is infinity. Similarly, lambda is equal. To, wavelength is equal to zero. Velocity is equal to infinity. V is equal to zero, lambda is equal to infinity, or lambda is equal to zero, V is equal to infinity. Matter waves are produced when the particle is in charged or uncharged. Matter waves are produced when the particle is in charged or uncharged. Matter waves are not electromagnetic waves. Matter waves are not electromagnetic waves. These are new kind of waves. Matter waves are Not electromagnetic waves. These are new kind of waves. The velocity of matter wave is greater than velocity of light. The velocity of matter wave is greater than the velocity of matter wave is greater than velocity of light. 